how comfortable would you be in a couple of months' time going on a motorway where you see a driver alongside you and he or she has their hands off the wheel? Well, they could be permitted to do that as Britain takes a major step forward to permitting driverless cars on the roads. The Department, or even the Department of Transport has published plans to legalise the use of lane-keeping technology. Now, this allows drivers to relinquish control of the vehicle. Traffic laws will have to be changed to enable motorists to rely on the technology with no human input, likely from next spring. Initially, this would only, only be on motorways. Dear God, it couldn't be on smaller roads, could it? But how safe or otherwise might it be? Apparently, it applies to tes Tesla cars, which obviously I know, but I don't own one. Jeanette Miller is Managing Director at the Jeffrey Miller Solicitors Firm and specialises in this area. What change of laws will be necessary then? Good morning to you. Morning, Nick. Well, there'll be a whole raft of changes. And in fact, the government consultation, which I've been studying this morning, almost reads like a shopping list when it comes to the various problems currently in terms of compliance with road traffic laws. There, there are many things that this technology currently would not be able to, to do. And there's a number of examples that, that are, are listed within the consultation, one of which is responding to being pulled over by the police because at the moment the technology has no rear-facing sensors included in it. So they're pretty much saying, well, well, what are you going to do to make this technology compliant with this requirement? The other things that have been outlined in the consultation are um, the ability for the technology to read signage, particularly temporary speed limit signage which is normally uh, displayed on a gantry in, uh, over a motorway the technology can't do that at the moment so it, it's almost to me reading as if the the government wants those creating the technology to consider these shortcomings and find some way of resolving this because it's very clear they are keen to invite this technology to the uk how comfortable would you be driving like that. And I've got a note here. I hope apparently you, you, you run a Tesla or you've had a Tesla? I own a right? Tesla, yes. I, I love it. Um, but I would not be comfortable. Have with... you got the big saloon one or the rather sporty one? Which one I've got got? the S um, model. So it's, it's the one that has, I don't have the insane mode on it, but it's the one that can go very, very fast. And it has got right, a lot of this well. technology, but it's not quite at the level of, of Alx, the auto lane keeping system. I have That's to keep right, my right. hands on the wheel. And um, I personally, I use the, the technology within the Tesla, but I don't feel 100% safe just letting right. the vehicle do what it wants. Sometimes it does some no. strange things. So, <laughs> I, I think, Tell me what strange things, what do you mean by strange things? You know? Well, what it can suddenly break for no apparent reason, <laughs> so that can be a bit scary. Yeah, I, I think that might be a, a, a glitch. But I think <laughs> the idea of being able to completely take your hands off the wheel of a vehicle when you're going 70 miles per hour, that, that just seems light years away yeah. to me. Um, now, I must say that the, the technology that is being consulted over, um, it isn't designed to go beyond 37 miles per hour. So to be on a motorway at 70, that's one of the things that I think is being discussed in the consultation but presently the technology is not capable of going above 37 um, yeah. so and also it's not going to be capable of being used on a normal road it, the reason why they've specified motorways is because there'd be no pedestrians in the vicinity the late the, the motorway oh, is separated by yeah. a central yeah. reservation barrier there it's considered safer in terms of the risk to pedestrians and other road users but how nervous, lastly, would you be mixing the two? That is to say, me and my old, call me crazy, but I've got a car that I actually drive, and you and your super-duper Tesla, we're sort of <laughs> mixing two, mixing two uh, metaphors, not metaphors, mixing two disciplines here. How, how relaxed or otherwise would you be about that? Well, I, I think it's going to be a massive transition at the moment. I think there's definitely, st well, I still have to drive my car. I can have yeah, the extra said, safeguard, yeah. but these plans would mean that you don't have to have your hands on the wheel. I think it's also going to be really um, conflicting for those policing yeah. the roads because we're, we're currently trying to steer away from people doing other things at the wheel, like texting and what have you. This, if it is introduced and, and course, things go yeah. that, that way, could That's well see point. a further problem with, with people doing other things whilst at the wheel, and that would obviously have an impact on potential offences such as dangerous driving, which very yeah. serious offences if collisions occur.
Fascinating talking to you. Safe driving to you. Thanks, Jeff Thank Miller, is managing director of the Jeffrey Miller Citizens Firm, and they specialise in motoring law.